So guys, tell me the three subjects which you are scared of. I'll give you a hint. They all end with an M. PSM, FM and Biochem. And it's very obvious that we are scared of them because they are so volatile. Are jo kal pada tha, wo bhi aaj yaad nahi rehta hai. But don't worry guys, in this video, I'll be giving you strategies on how to read Biochem for NEET PG as well as NEXT PG. The most important strategy in this video is going to be the Biochem Cycles book, okay? So please don't miss that part of the video and in that part, I also be giving you a glimpse of my Cycles book, which I have kept since I, ha I had made it in my first year and that is what I had referred in my NEET. So please, that is very important guys. Please make it a point to watch that. Let's begin. Point number one. Choose a source and be loyal to your source. So there can be three sources. One is Rebecca James, second is Arvind Arora and the third is any of your notes. So choose any one of these three and be loyal to the source. See, because the information in all these three sources is going to be more or less the same. So please don't have this FOMO that wo source mein kuch extra diya hai, are usme ek acha cycle diya hai, no. All the three sources are going to be almost the same. So choose one and be loyal to it. Point number two, integrated approach. So in biochem, there's only one way to make it interesting. That is to read it in an integrated format. That is a clinical way. So basically while reading, think of all the clinical conditions related to what you are reading. Like for example, whenever you read a, a cycle in biochem, so that enzyme which you read, so make it a point to read that that deficiency of that enzyme will cause what, what disease and that disease ka presentation and that disease is cured, cured by what. So when you read it like this, you will it will also be helpful for your NEET and next PG but it will also be interesting for you that and then you will also remember it in a, a retrospective manner that ha ye disease is related to that enzyme so that enzyme will automatically be associated with that with that disease in your head it will make it very easy for you to remember biochem this way point number three solve MCQs start solving MCQs in biochem very early on because in such volatile subjects it is always good to solve MCQs because that helps in the process of reverse learning because we have been solving so many MCQs that our brain has become conditioned to remember to remembering the facts when presented in an MCQ format. So our brain makes it very easy for us to remember those facts when they're presented, you know, in those four options. So that is how we can make it easier to learn biochem. And I also made a video on tricks to crack any MCQ exam. So please make it a point to watch that video. You can click on the I and the link is also given in the description. And which brings me to point number four, that is the most important strategy like I had told you in the start of the video, the biochem charts book. So now I'll just give you a glimpse of my biochem charts book. Let's begin. So guys, uh, this is my biochem cycles book. Uh, these are the bookmarks of various units like carbohydrates and DNA, lipids, hemoglobin, proteins, etc, etc. Uh, coming to carbohydrates. Here we can see the cycle of glycolysis. Glycolysis, like I told you, the whole cycle is given with the enzymes and with the inhibitors wherever there are wherever there are inhibitors glycolysis then there is Krebs cycle the same thing the whole cycle is given irreversible steps are given enzymes are given inhibitors are given similarly uh, gluconeogenesis then uh, similarly in lipids as well guys the whole beta oxidation is given the whole cycle enzymes where it takes place cytosol mitochondria which part of the cycle where then the clinical part of it, SIDS, uh, sudden infant death, death syndrome, deficiency of what? Then Jamaican vomiting sickness, everything in one place. Then hemoglobin, most important guys, the synthesis of heme, the uh, which we most commonly uh, call the uh, AIP cycle, the acute intermittent porphyria cycle. So everything is given guys, the whole cycle, enzymes, plus here the de deficiency of which enzymes causes which disease is given, the mnemonic is given, ACP, HVP. And uh, you know, so basically this is what I was trying to tell you that everything has to be given in one place itself so that in the end that is during your last week of your exam you can refer to this book itself. Then uh, going to proteins, proteins also similarly the same thing, urea cycle, the whole cycle is given, this part happens in uh, cytosol and then in mitochondria, this in cytosol and this in mitochondria, the enzymes are given, the deficiency causes which disease is given, yeah. So this was my biochem cycles book guys. And just like this biochem cycles book, I have also made a video on uh, my 20th notebook. The 20th notebook is the one which where all the volatile stuff is given. So if you haven't made that, please make that too. And please watch that video. You can click on the I and the link is also given in the description. And in the end, I would just like to say that from this whole video, the one takeaway message which I would like to give you is this itself that biochem cycles book 
has to be made it's very very important so please make it guys if you haven't made one and it will surely help you to remember biochem very very easily and also another point is that this biochem cycles book you have to read in the last week before your exam because you know that it's very volatile so make it a point to read this biochem cycles book before the, i mean that one week before your exam and that should do the and that should do the trick for you in biochem and if you have any doubts whatsoever please feel free to connect with me on social media the links are given in the description below and uh, please share this video with as many students as possible with as many neat and next pg aspirants as possible guys and all the very best kill it